Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I hope your weekend is off to a great start. What are you up to this weekend? You'll have to let me know in the comments below. I don't think I have too many plans other than, you know, I need to work out because I'm just now getting back into it after the holidays and I need to clean my house. Those are like my two top priorities. What are your plans? Hopefully you have something a little bit more fun planned than I do, but I thought it would be fun to kick off the weekend with a Sephora haul and also a giveaway for you guys. I am excited because today's video is in part partnership with Ebates and I love Ebates. I talk about it so much on my channel and if you guys have been around my channel for a while I'm sure you've heard me mention it because I always talk about it. It's just one of my favorite online shopping tools. I use it every single time I shop online because essentially they pay you a portion of what you spend back so you get cash back for your online purchases. It's completely free and easy to use. All you do is start your shopping on Ebates website. So if you were shopping at Sephora all you do is type in ebates.com, type in Sephora and then click click through to Sephora's website, do your shopping like normal, check out like normal, and every three months Ebates will pay you all of the cash back that you earned in the form of a check or through PayPal. And I downloaded the browser button so whenever I'm shopping it will pop up in the right hand corner if cash back is available. That's really the most ideal way to use it in my opinion because a lot of times you might not even realize that that store offers cash back. So it's a great tool to use if you do like saving money and who doesn't? And of course you can download the mobile app if you you guys do a lot of shopping from your phone. If you're new to Ebates though, you'll actually get a $10 welcome bonus once you spend $25. So I will put their website in the description box below so you guys can check them out and sign up. If you click the link and sign up and place an order, you will get that $10 welcome bonus. So it's a great deal and right now they're actually offering 10% cash back at a bunch of beauty retailers like Kat Von D, Too Faced, It Cosmetics, there's a giant list. So I will put that in the description box below. So if you were planning on picking up any makeup, now is definitely the time to sign up and check out Ebates. I'm also excited because we are giving away a $100 gift card to one of my subscribers so I can't wait for one of you guys to get the gift card and be able to do a little bit of shopping. I will put all of the rules in the description box below but if you entered my last giveaway with Ebates that we did around the holidays then you'll pretty much be good to go. All you have to do is click the link to enter the giveaway. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's jump into it and I'll show you guys what I got from Sephora. So I feel like I got quite a few things so I'll just kind of touch on them in this video and then I might either do a haul update if you guys are interested in seeing that video in like two weeks or I might just do a full face get ready with me using these products. Let me know if there's one of those videos that you guys want to see. Otherwise, let me show you what I got. So the first thing I got is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Metallic Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I am so excited about this palette. I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it. I thought that I wanted it after seeing like the pictures on Instagram because the swatches looked beautiful, but I've been trying to be a little bit more selective about my palette. I just want to make sure I'm not buying like every single new palette that hits the market because I don't need them and at the same time I like palettes so I'm just I'm just trying to find like a good balance anyways this one looked really beautiful and I am a big fan of the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes the packaging kind of looks like the original chocolate bar palette but this one is like gold dipped it's so so pretty it feels a little bit different too it's a little bit more bulky but it's like a plastic case that actually snaps closed and the original one is like a tin case that has a magnetic closure. It has gorgeous metallic shadows in it. There are some fun pops of color like the pink and even the gold is a little bit more of like a bright colorful gold. The green looks pretty, the purple, and then you actually get four matte neutrals in this palette as well. So I actually did not realize that it came with matte shadows. I don't know how I missed that because I have seen this palette in person but I kind of like that they included those four matte neutrals just because for me personally I always reach for mattes when I'm creating a complete eye look look. Some people don't and I do have palettes in my collection that are completely metallic but I kind of like that they included those just because I do see a lot of wearable looks in here even though there are a few pops of color. I'm just really looking forward to trying it out. I've heard a lot of great things about it. I hope it will become a staple in my collection. I just really enjoy the chocolate bar palette so if Too Faced keeps releasing them I'm going to keep buying them except for the white chocolate bar palette. That one it didn't really appeal to me. I didn't think I would get a lot of use out of it. Other than that though, I, I love them. So my camera died and I think I might have bumped it when I was replacing the battery so hopefully everything still looks okay. But I also picked up the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I wanted to try this when it was first released and then I think I just kind of forgot about it and a lot of you guys recently commented on a video or I might have snapped you, I can't remember, but I got a ton of recommendations to try this foundation. A lot of you guys said it's like your absolute favorite full coverage matte foundation. 
foundation. So I definitely wanted to give it a shot. I got the shade Porcelain, which I hope matches my skin tone. I feel like it's hard to shop for foundations online, but I looked up swatches and that one looked like it would be best for me. This sounds like it's going to be perfect for me. It's oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil-controlling, photo-friendly, and shine-free. So it honestly sounds like everything that I would like in a foundation, and I want to discover some new foundations this year. I love Urban Decay's All Nighter, and I love the Hourglass foundation, but I would love to discover some other ones. Like, I want some good foundations for oily skin that aren't quite as heavy as the Urban Decay foundation, but still give really good coverage. So I have high hopes for this one. So I'm finally trying some Fenty Beauty products. I am so late to the game when it comes to Fenty Beauty. I should have jumped on the products when they were first released, but sometimes I get overwhelmed by new collections and I just honestly don't know where to start. They just released this new Bomb Baby Mini Lip and Face Set, and I've been all about the mini makeup products lately. I just have so much makeup in my collection and I try to keep my collection, you know, manageable, but I feel like, you know, even if you have a small collection, it's really hard to use up products. So I love getting mini sized products just because I feel like, you know, I'll actually finish them and I don't necessarily need a full size product. So this one comes with their Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter and their Gloss Bomb. And this one is a universal lip luminizer. So I was just going to buy like a full size of the lip gloss because I've been really big into glosses lately and I've heard good things about this gloss. But then I saw that this set was available so I figured why not try two products instead of just one and then if I do finish up the lip gloss I can always repurchase it. So this highlighter is in the shade Hustla Baby which I feel like a lot of people were talking about. I don't know like I watched a bunch of reviews when Fenty Beauty was first released but it's been a little while. This color is really gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of Prosecco Pop from Becca Cosmetics. I actually have Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop back here. <laughs> somewhere. So it looks more like Champagne Pop. It actually looks really similar to Champagne Pop, so I don't know that I actually needed it. Let me swatch them next to each other just to see. The colors are almost identical. This one is the Becca Cosmetics Highlighter, and this one is the Fenty Beauty Highlighter. I would say the Fenty Beauty Highlighter is slightly more like gold-toned, but honestly on the cheeks, I don't think you would notice a difference. And the Fenty Beauty Highlighter feels like the Becca Cosmetics Highlighter. So I would say if you have Champagne Pop, I don't think you need to run out and grab Hustla Baby. Maybe you would want to try another color from Fenty Beauty. I am still excited to try out this formula just because I do want to try some Fenty Beauty products. So I'm looking forward to using both of these. I also grabbed the new Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick in the shade Spanked. I just bought this one on a whim, I feel like. I don't usually spend a lot of money on higher end lipsticks because they're expensive. And I just feel like I'm like completely happy with my ColourPop lipsticks. Those are like my go-to, but I figured I would try this one out as well. This is kind of a small lipstick. I don't know if it's just because it's in like a skinny tube. This color looked really beautiful though, and these are pretty new. I think they're almost like a brand new release, at least when I was actually doing my shopping. Okay, this color is gorgeous. It kind of looks like a rosy red or like a terracotta shade. It definitely looks like a shade that I would wear, and I've been a big fan of like traditional lipsticks again. When I reach for a lip color these days, it's usually like a traditional lipstick, a ColourPop lippy stick, or a lip gloss. I don't wear a lot of liquid lipsticks unless I'm filming videos just because they stay in place really well. This color is so, so pretty though, and it feels really like soft and lightweight, so I'm definitely looking forward to wearing it on the lips. Again, it was a little bit more expensive because it is a higher end lipstick, so I don't know if I would buy a bunch of them, but I thought if I found like one color that I would wear a lot, it could be worth the money. So the Becca Cosmetics Light Chaser Highlighters were on sale for I think $17, which I thought was a pretty good deal because Becca Cosmetics Full Size Highlighters retail for $38. This one is a little bit smaller than the Full Size Highlighters, but it's a little bit different too. I got the Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini Highlighter, and they have a couple of different options. They had some that like were kind of, so basically like they look one way and then when the light hits them, they look another way. So I don't know if you would call that duochrome. I feel like I'm bad with my technical terms when I come to makeup but these are the size of the Becca Cosmetics blushes so they're a little bit smaller this color looks gorgeous I checked out swatches again online because I couldn't decide which one to get let me swatch it it feels a little bit different like it feels more of like a creamy texture it's definitely a powder but it kind of feels 
a little bit creamier than their regular highlighters, if that's even possible. I don't know, the texture just feels a little bit different. Not in a bad way, just different. So, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I'm like the biggest fan of pink highlighters, and this one is like a pink gold hybrid. It's just gorgeous. I think it's going to be so much fun to wear on the cheeks, and I cannot wait. I'm so happy that I chose this color. I was kind of going back and forth because there was one that like flashed green, one that flashed purple, but I figured I would get the most use out of this one the packaging is beautiful as well I'm just like in love with Becca cosmetics face products I love their highlighters their blushes their bronzers so I don't buy them for myself super often because they are a little bit more pricey but this this is like worth having in my collection I feel like because it's so unique and pretty and I just can't wait to wear it so I did buy the new Tarte Cosmetics chrome paint shadow pot this is really interesting and I'm not exactly sure what to expect, I guess. I got the shade Park Ave Princess. The only reason, or the only thing I know about it is that it's super pigmented and beautiful. I saw like a bunch of videos on Tarte's social media of these products and I was instantly curious about them. They also have a bunch of colors, but I chose Park Ave Princess. Oh, it's kind of messy. I was kind of expecting it to be like the Maybelline, um, what are those called? Like color tattoos. That's kind of what it reminded me of, just like based on the packaging and the swatches. But this kind of looks like a, a loose pigment, but there's not like a sifter or anything. It's just like sitting there in the pot. I don't know if you guys can see. So it's going to be really, really messy. And that's the reason why I don't like loose pigments. I just make such a mess with them. But I will say this color is beautiful for sure. This is what it looks like swatched. It's gorgeous. It looks like liquid metal. I feel like I could probably get a similar effect with one of my ColourPop shadows. So, you know, right off the bat, I don't know if it was worth the money. All I know is that I'm already making a mess with it. So... Oh, messy products are just not my favorite just because I already make such a mess to begin with. Anyways, moving on, I got a few products from Bite Beauty. I asked you guys for a good lip product or a good lip balm recommendation in one of my videos and a ton of you, like the majority of you, recommended the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I got some other recommendations as well, which I am going to check out, but a lot of you guys said it's worth the money. So I splurged and I spent the money on a lip balm, which is kind of crazy to me. I, I would never have spent this much on a lip balm, but a lot of you guys said it's worth it. I buy most of my products based off of your recommendations. I know that like I have the channel and I'm supposed to recommend products to you, but you guys leave me like a ton of good recommendations. So I am looking forward to trying it out. My lips have been so so dry this winter. I hope that this is going to be the answer to my problems. A lot of you guys left other recommendations as well, like some more affordable options, which I am going to check out. But in the meantime, I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. I love Bite Beauty products. I don't think I've tried one that I haven't liked yet, so I'm looking forward to using it. I also got the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip Set. This was a holiday set that went on sale, so I decided to grab it. I've been wanting to try their liquid lips for a while. I think they're kind of more of like a pigmented gloss rather than a matte liquid lipstick and I've been the biggest fan of glosses lately. The fact that I could get like four mini sizes for I think less than what one full size cost I jumped on it and it comes with a light nude pink a little bit of a darker nude a pretty orangey red and then like a red raspberry color so now I can try out four colors and see if I like the formula see if I need to buy the full size or if I'll just be good to go with the mini versions. These are so so cute. I've been like all about mini products lately I just I feel like it's nice to have a mini version because you can actually finish it up and if you don't you didn't spend as much money on it you know what I mean so anyways I'm looking forward to trying these out for sure so I grabbed the Ula Henriksen banana bright eye cream this is a new product and I totally bought it because I saw so many people posting about it on Instagram and I was curious to try it out I love Ula Henriksen their products are so good and I haven't tried one that I haven't liked so I feel like I trust the brand and I'm looking for a good eye cream. It says that this one is supposed to reduce the look of dark circles, firm and instantly target fine lines and wrinkles while improving concealer wear. It's inspired by makeup artist must have banana powder. So it's supposed to kind of brighten up your under eye area. I don't know, I'll try it out and see if it's any better than any of the other eye creams that I've been trying. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just going to pick one and stick with it because I haven't really noticed a difference between all of them, but I do really like this brand. Okay guys, that's the end of my video. Thank you so much for 
watching. If you guys grabbed anything recently that you think I need to check out, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Don't forget that Ebates is offering 10% cash back at a bunch of retailers. So I will link their website in the description box below so you guys can sign up if you're interested. And don't forget to enter my giveaway. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday with a new video. Bye.